Hi, boys and girls. It's November and we will be celebrating Thanksgiving soon. So I chose a fun book to read this month. This was one of my children's favorite as well. And so I hope you enjoy. Twas the night before Thanksgiving. Twas the day before Thanksgiving and all through the trees, the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins in hopes that a field trip soon would begin. They sang as they rode through autumn terrains while visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. Over rivers, through woods, with winding and weaves, their school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out on the road, there arose such a clatter. They threw down their windows to see what was the matter. When what with their wandering eyes should they see but a miniature farm and eight tiny turkey. And a little old man, so lively and rugged, they knew in a moment it was Farmer McNugget. He was dressed tall in denim from his head to his toe with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then in a twinkling, they heard in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, his cockles they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Ollie, now Stanley, now Larry and Moe, on Wally, on Beaver, on Shemp and Groucho. The turkeys were chunky with smiley beard beaked faces. They greeted the children with downy embraces. Big hugs. So out through the barnyard they ran and they flew and they gobbled and giggled as friends sometimes do. Then somebody spotted an axe by the door and she asked Farmer McNugget what it was for. With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer told a grim tale of dread. Tonight, said McNugget, these feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted for Thanksgiving feasts. The children stood still as tears filled their eyes. Then they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. Oh dear, oh dear, cried McNugget. Now what shall I do? So he dashed to the well and the teacher went too. And they fetched some water fresh from the ground in hopes that a swig might calm everyone down. And when they returned to quiet the matter, the children were calmer and mysteriously fatter. The boys and girls drank up their drinks in the hay then thanked old McNugget and waddled away. <laughs> they limped to the school bus, all huffing and puffing. It's not easy to walk with hot turkey stuffing. And then, as the school bus drove off in the night, McNugget looked round, not a turkey in sight. "'Twas the night before Thanksgiving, and the stars up above shone down on a school bus abounding with love. The very next evening, eight families were blessed with eight fluffy Thanksgiving turkeys as guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful. The turkeys the most. <laughs> so each one gave thanks for love and for living, and they all had a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Be sure to tell someone that you're thankful for them and why you're thankful for them.